Okay, I took apart an old battery pack up a uh, DVD player. See if I can get this in there. Uh, opposite. Nope. Anyway, it's a uh, rechargeable battery pack model uh, BATT 2P at 7.47, 7 7.4 uh, volts, uh, 3600 milliamp hours L ion battery. Uh, there it is. And when I took it apart, there were four of these cells here. And inside the pack was also one of these. Uh, Uh, anyway, uh, what it says on it is, uh, S-E-K-I S-T Tech 2270 Celsius. And apparently there's some kind of a breaker between that. Uh, if it goes, reaches 70 degrees Celsius and it disrupts the power, like, uh, it stops the power flowing and then the circuit board here just came with a couple chips and anyway it came with four batteries on it I checked the batteries out the other one charged them up a little bit playing with them I'll show you what I did right now uh, we're getting uh, Uh, it's a negative, that's a positive, we're getting exactly no voltage, zero voltage, no matter what you do, you just, you're not getting anything out, it's not reading it, from what I was reading that, uh, this has a, uh, a sensor inside of it that shuts it down after it gets below like 250 volts um, it just automatically shuts out and then uh, it doesn't really for some reason you, you gotta bump it sorta of. and I'll show you what I did uh, um, alright I gotta set up this other one okay I plugged I have my Eternity uh, Excel six uh, 80 watt uh, 10 amp charger and I got it hooked up down to here over to here I have it hooked up with the uh, uh, temperature wrapped around temperature probe kind of small but I have uh, the battery hooked up to my meter voltage meter and then the charger from here goes there this is hooked up to this uh, uh, old uh, 500 watt power supply, computer power supply, providing enough power for me. I ordered some, and but also inside here, there's a uh, coming out the side of that right there. It goes into my computer, and then I have it on the television screen here. Uh, the uh, program running, so I can either program it manually or do it from a computer. Uh, let's see if I get that out of the way. Okay, so what we want to do is program it from here. So, uh, what this is uh, uh, listed on there is a lipo uh, right there on top, uh, but it doesn't, it won't read it because um, the voltage is, is dead. So, you go to battery type lipo, uh, that lipo, I'm sorry, and uh, you want to, I have one cell, so I go down here, one cell, uh, 
I have right now the discharge uh, at charge at 0.1 amp and discharge 0.1 amp. It really doesn't matter, but I just want to show you. So when you go in here, it says uh, right up here, it's not reading that. And it says DC is too. Oh, yeah, turn this on. We got to turn it on. There we go. Anyway, so DC too low, but now it's fine. All right, so anyway, right in here, uh, I'm showing no voltage, no voltage at all, so it won't run the program. Uh, zero volts. It's reading that, my meter's reading that. So I can't charge it on this, so what I'm doing is going, uh, uh, I'm gonna slap it on a NICAD battery, cause it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't care uh, because there are there is voltage on there, but it it's been shut off by that little built-in switch. So what I'm gonna do is stop this program. Um, it won't work anyway, so I'm gonna change this to NICAD battery. Uh, I want to use a NICAD. I'm gonna charge it. One cell, I like to use uh, 7.7 uh, amps uh, for uh, charging current. And then just charging, I like to use, uh, uh, it says in, in the manual, I'll show you, uh, uh, like 0.5, so I'll show you in there. So. I'm going to save that. Now I have seven amps. Discharge this is going to count. I'm just going to boost it up here because it's not reading any voltage. It will do this. Now, uh, NICAD is going to charge it. And I'm only going to charge it up to like 50 milliamps and then slap it back on the LiPo. But it's not reading any voltage. Uh, oop. Uh, it does that sometimes. Uh, I need to reset that. Uh. Um, now see, I only got two milliamps and I got 0 0.81 volts there. Can you read that? So, so I'm reading that. Uh, uh, 2 milliamps and then uh, 0 0.81 volts so we'll try that again and the spike uh, it got up there uh, kind of freaky so that might be a little bit too much right now so we'll try it again all right so Oh wow, all right. This battery might be really bad. <laughs> Let's try changing that down some. Uh, we'll change it to four amps. Uh, we'll do a slow three amp charge. Try to see if that'll work. I'm just trying to bump it so it can read the battery. Uh, so. That's uh, um, yeah, this my battery might be totally bad. Um, all right, I'm getting my voltage in. And it's reading point, point fifty six on my ohm or voltage meter. Uh, that's how many volts it is. 
this is really bad battery uh let's see if we can go uh, one amp all right all right it's reading 5.6 volts uh nine point something bolt uh, that bolt you shouldn't have dropped up that high it's only uh, what's my temperature at uh, something wrong on that uh, oh wait let me check something 